Jeep Life Montana YouTube channel. Uh, we've been trying to figure out what Jeep is going to be the next one that we purchase and we've been trying really hard to think about that future generation to make sure whatever we buy helps us be sustainable for them. Um, we live in Missoula, we've never hidden that and Missoula is very climate oriented and making sure that we are preparing our town to be sustainable for the future generation. Um, in our current fleet, we have a 1977 CJ7, our 2004 LJ, we have a 2008 JK, and a 2019 JL. We've been humming and hawing over all of the different options. We have the gas, the diesel, a four-cylinder, or um, the 4 by e and it's become really clear to us which Jeep would be the best one for our um, our next rig. So what we've chosen is to go fully electric. We not only are we saving on the co the overall cost of the Jeep, we're getting it for pennies on the dollar. We're also saving on fuel costs because we don't have the gas or the diesel that we need to supply all the time because the electric can run off the battery. So um, as you know the LJ is red, our CJ7 is red, so naturally for our next Jeep we also chose red. <laughs> this Jeep is sporting fully electric as you can tell. We have 15 inch monoply tires on this bad boy. We of course went with lights before lockers. The, we only have it locked up in the rear end and it's got full steering on it. It even plays its own tunes, has a good horn. It does not come with its own oil change process. That is naturally done by us. That maintenance has to be done all the time. Just like a real vehicle, it needs constant oil changes. <laughs> um, but we went with the 2023 model, as you can tell, and we're pretty excited about having this new Jeep in our family. <laughs> Don't forget to like and subscribe. <laughs> through that. 